I feel about the car so far? Oh, outstanding. We're uh, ahead of my mental schedule. We're still tight, obviously, with like six weeks to the race. But the last week that we've been here, the progress has just been insane. Everyone working on the car all day long. And uh, we're actually not fitting the front end, which wasn't even, we weren't even going to do that this week. I was going to do that once I got home. So now it's going to come out proper like the rest of the car. And uh, ready for paint and then assembly like really that's it like it's the fab work is 99.8 percent done right now yesterday was the most completion day because there was a lot of things that were like 90 percent done it just kind of needed to be finished and we just like checked off a list that was completely <laughs> between matt and mark and myself and andrew like the whole board just was like check 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 like on to everything and then we kept writing more stuff down than we yeah, remember <laughs> and checking that off and then i came in this morning and i was like had a dream that we forgot three things and put that on the board and then uh mark knocked that out the so footrest that was an important one i yeah. can't believe we forgot that one that one's gonna be nice and it's got a sweet little logo on it you'll see it's pretty awesome okay. but uh yeah i mean it's uh when I bring it back to Florida, it's going to be pretty close, ready to just take it apart, paint the chassis, get the car wrapped, and then assemble it for final assembly. Testing in September, mm -hmm. first week. First week? First week. Dang. <laughs> first week of September, testing. <laughs> That's what we're going for. Like maybe the end of the first week. <laughs> That's achievable. <laughs> yeah. Beginning of the first week, not so yeah, much. Yeah, because, I mean, we, we need to test. I mean, anything can happen. Like, it's a new engine going into the car, just fresh in the trans. It's a new rear end. Uh, it's a different turbo. It's a different intercooler. So, um, different car. The car. Yeah, it's a different car. <laughs> My, minor details. So testing is will be important because, you know, we like to test. I'm a tester as far as car goes anyway. So we're going to put as many laps on it as possible. Joe's already working on another engine. And so that way I can just wear it out testing pretty much. I'll just live at the track up until FL2K and uh, get, it, get it ironed out. But I think it'll go quick. There's nothing going to be inherently wrong. The chassis is perfect. The four link, we plot it, you know, uh, take a few passes. I think within three passes, we'll be pretty close to where we want to be of the old car. It'll be pretty good. Yeah, I would say so. But it's all just put in there, mocked up just so it can roll because he's going to have to take it all out to paint it and everything. Yeah. So there wasn't any point in plotting anything. In yeah, plotting it's like at a out. visual good spot to where, yeah. like, this is probably, it's yeah. probably within a hole where we would start out with or whatever you yeah. know but as the car is going together the um, the weight is the biggest question and it's the biggest tease because you don't know until it's done done like, mm -hmm. you can guess and add stuff up like the chassis and everything but until it's like race ready with fluids in it you won't know and there's a chance that it's a lot lighter than my old car I don't yeah, I don't, I don't it, may, it may be too light. <laughs> <laughs> no such thing. Lift off here. Well, it, it'd be cool because we'll be closer to the weight to the cars that we're racing. A lot of the cars mm -hmm. that we race are 2,600 pounds, you know, a lot of Fox bodies and, and things like that. So the old car was, was pushing to 3,000 pounds. It was 2,970 on the 399 pass. So if this car can get, I mean, 2,700 would be outstanding. I mean, it's almost 300 pounds. So anything under that, it'd be like, holy shit like how fast can can it go i don't know i try not to get excited about it because then you just kind of work yourself up and then you know it's i already told everyone i was like it's gonna be 50 pounds lighter than the other car but it's gonna be way better it's gonna race better anyway like it'll be it'll be fine it's still gonna be better but there's there's no way yeah, yeah. it's it's definitely gonna be quite a bit lighter yeah. but yeah yeah i mean it's going awesome
All right, Monday morning, no Brett. Brett's car's gone, we got it done. Shop is a uh, relative disaster currently. Gonna work on cleaning that up right after we get done with this. So we managed to get pretty much everything you wanted to get done knocked out, uh, plus a lot. <laughs> We pretty much finished probably, I would say, 99.8% of all of the fab work. There's just like a couple of things left that he really needs to do, maybe. You know, maybe a sensor here or there, you know, something like that. Tab for a bolt or, you know, something like that. But everything's pretty well done. We got like window supports in it. We got front end mounted. We got headlights mounted. We got pretty much everything done. <laughs> he should be able to go home, uh, get it stripped, paint it, then get his wiring in it from his old car, which uh, he actually just sold. I believe he posted it and sold the car in eight minutes, <laughs> is what he told me. So, not surprised, it's a fantastic car, but uh, like he said in his post, he wanted to exceed what that chassis was capable of so that's why he came to us so i believe that uh he'll have what he wants so it uh should be pretty good i'm i'm really really pumped to see what he does with that car it'll be it'll be cool but yeah we're gonna work on getting everything cleaned up get ready for the next build and keep on trucking